The term right sizing means matching um, matching something to what it needs to be. So, for example, with a you know heating and cooling your home, it's really important to make sure you're putting in the right size heating and cooling equipment to match the home. Every home is different. Uh, there's obviously a wide range out there. Uh, but if you take a giant furnace and stick it in a small house and just say, oh, it's okay, it's oversized, it'll just heat the home, that's, that's, that's not right. That's not the proper way to do it. The proper way to do it is to do a, a proper, what's called a manual J heat load calculation, which is the industry standard. And that's gonna tell you how much heat and cooling the house actually needs based on where you live, right? So if we put in, a, uh, it's, it's important to put in the right size equipment because if it is too big, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have comfort issues in the home. Uh, the thermostat for your furnace might be in the middle of the first floor. In the middle of the first floor might be very comfortable, but if your furnace is too big, what happens is you've got, you don't have a chance for the heat to get to the rest of the house before the thermostat shuts it off. So it's really, really important to make sure you're putting in the right size heating equipment. Um, if you don't, um, you run into comfort issues and it's too hot or too cold, uh, and you're also going to shorten the life of the equipment. So that equipment is going to run on, off, on, off, on, off. It's called short cycling. It's not good for the equipment. It's not good for the comfort of the home. And you're just really cutting down the life of the uh, heating system in your home. So it's really important to make sure you right size your equipment. It's, le it's, it's worse to oversize than it is to undersize, but it's always right to right size. So you always want the right thing in the right house every time.